Oh boy, here we go again. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy JD. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've all had a great Monday, a great start to your week. And whilst it may be a new week, something that isn't new and just continues to go on and on and on and on is this big issue we see in women's girls sports with males identifying as females going into their sports and absolutely destroying the competition and in today's video i am going to be talking about a story involving a male runner going viral because of the video footage of him finishing so far ahead of the other competitors it's a joke and remember with this issue woke activists woke liberals woke leftists want everybody to ignore their own eyes and their own thoughts and Firstly, believe that it's a female running, not a male. And secondly, there's no biological advantage. That's what we're always told, right? There's no biological advantage. Right. Clown world insanity. Now, before I carry on any further and get into this ridiculous story, if you could, as always, make sure to leave a like rating as it really, really helps out the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description, and let's get into this article. The Daily Mail report, trans runner demolishes female competitors in his 200 meet heat at high school competition, but still finishes in second place overall. So again, as we always see, places have been affected by this massively affected girls have lost now on a higher position and along with everything else we're told to do we're supposed to sit here when we see this and just <laughs> clap away like it's the most stunning and brave thing we've ever seen no society constantly wants to put the individual truth ahead of everything else as you always hear me say and people around the individual are always affected a trans high school sophomore has met fury online after crushing his competition at a high school track and field meet the team competed in the girls 200 meters varsity at the sherwood need for speed classic in sherwood oregon on saturday footage from the meet shows him crossing the finish line as competitors follow en masse seconds later the team ultimately finished second overall out of more than 60 girls in the 200 meter heat the mcdaniel high schooler also competed in other races alongside his teammates ranking seventh in the four times 100 relay and eighth in the four times 400 relay it's the latest example of a trans athlete far outpacing girls in high school competitions many often drawing the eerie of others who claim trans athletes have an unfair advantage who wrote this article man claiming claiming trans athletes have an unfair advantage i'm not too sure it's a claim it's the truth look if we're all going to make huge progress on this issue, which we are seeing slowly but surely, but if we want to make more and more progress, news outlets have to do their part as well. They have to start reporting on these stories in a factual way and not wording sentences like they're scared to offend somebody. And that also includes calling these athletes he instead of she, because when you still use the preferred pronouns, to me, it just looks very strange and very odd and again it's like they're scared to offend people but nonetheless here is the viral video of this male runner absolutely wrecking the competition and i want you guys to guess who the male is it won't take long take a watch well i mean it jaden vanderveen in seven for bergen episcopal abby wilson out very well is gallagher mcdaniel in lane two we're gonna see gallagher later on in the relays great knees great drive Gallagher, the victory here in section number one. 25 49. Second of Molson in 3077. There's Geispers in 3131. Man, this is all just so embarrassing. It really is. You've got this guy here who is clearly a guy. I mean, from the video footage, you can see the difference between him and the other girls. It just looks ridiculous. You've got the commentator praising the runner like something positive is being achieved here. You've got the girls finishing way behind him. And then on top of that, you've got people clapping and cheering in the crowd. Look, it just has to stop. I don't care what these woke activists, these allies say. This isn't serving anybody, it's harming people. It's not serving the girls, the integrity of the sport, the competition, it completely devalues it. Even the individual, everybody wants to constantly reaffirm. You're not serving them because telling them, yes, you are who you say you are, is hurting them mentally in the long term. And then how that one person feels because it's been placed on such a high pedestal, nobody can question it. Everybody around them then has to adapt to that and it dictates the direction of where something is going to go. 
what more can you really say about this? How many more times does this have to happen? But let's just get into the social media reaction to this story. This is just sick and disgusting. I want to know why his parents are allowing him to mock female athletes, why his coach is allowing him to cheat, and why these girls' coaches and parents aren't speaking up, wrote Megan Murphy, a Canadian author and podcaster. And she's correct. Where are the parents? How are fathers especially okay with this happening to their daughters? And why are the coaches allowing him to cheat? It's insanity. Female athletes also joined in on the conversation. At some point, we have to be willing to see this for what it is. Please stop pretending like this is anything other than telling young female athletes they don't matter, wrote Carolyn Johnson, two-time member of Team USA. April Hutchinson, a female powerlifter on Team Canada, branded the student a prime example of a male cheat. Beats women then lingers around, waiting for congratulations and constantly seeks validation. You're a liar to yourself and everyone in that facility. Shame on all the enablers, she wrote, completely correct. Correct. Amelia Strickler, a shot put champion who was twice awarded the British national title, asserted biology has to be the rule. And finally, Riley Gaines has also responded to this story. She posts on X, let's call this what it is, encouraged and celebrated cheating at the hands of the adults in the room. So many fingers to point, but shame on the parents, the schools, the boy, our weak administration and also sports. I mean, you can't disagree with anything they're saying. And you know, if this clip was included at the beginning of the Lady Ballers trailer, right, we've all seen it, I would think it's part of the film. That's how stupid this is. In a world where women's sports is being transformed, the Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. If you've been paying attention to the channel for the last couple of weeks or so, you'll know this is like, what, the fifth story I've covered. And there are more I haven't even spoken about. That's how often this is happening. And how many more times does it need to happen? Rules just have to be introduced here, you know, to protect the girls and also the sport. And these states need to amend certain things because they are allowing this to happen because in a lot of state laws to not allow a biological male to compete in a women's girl sport is classed as discrimination. That needs to change. Hopefully, I've been saying recently, you know, after the US election, things can rapidly change with this issue, but who knows what's gonna happen. I wanna hear your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, on this story. Again, as usual, I'll be checking out all the comments to see your reaction. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'm out. Peace.